What is going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today I've got another multicam tutorial for you. This time it's in DaVinci Resolve. Let's see if we can keep this one under five minutes as well. Intro. Organization is key to making this work right. So we wanna make sure that we have all of our files organized where they're supposed to be before we even try to import them into the project. For today's example, we're gonna be looking at an interview that I shot a couple months ago that had two separate people being interviewed with two camera angles each. So I went ahead and I separated them out by each interview with each camera angle. So now that we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna go ahead over to our Media tab, which is the far left tab at the bottom of DaVinci Resolve. From there, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to our file, which for me is under my Gear Focus folder, and then I have a parent folder that has a bunch of different stuff underneath of it. But all I need to do to import that is I'm gonna go ahead and right click and hit Add Media Folder and Subfolders into Media Pool with Create Bins. When I do that, it's gonna ask me if I wanna change the project frame rate. I'm gonna say don't change, but then you'll see it's gonna import everything into its own separate folder into DaVinci Resolve, and I have my same file structure here. So now that everything's imported, let's go ahead and jump over to the Edit tab. We're gonna to navigate to where we have our clips. For me, it is under the folder Lewis Interview. Now from here, creating the multicam sequence is super easy. All we're gonna do is highlight both of the clips, right click and hit Create New Multicam Clip using Select Clips. From here, you're gonna go ahead and give your multicam a title. I'm just gonna call it multicam, but might have to spell it right. We keep my frame rate at 24, and we wanna go ahead and select sound for our angle sync, or we can use time code if you had time code set up. But I'm gonna go ahead and click sound. I like to leave my angle name to sequential, so this will just be camera one and camera two. And then it's gonna go ahead and move the clips into an original clips bin. You can turn that off, it doesn't really make a bit of a difference. Go ahead, hit create and DaVinci Resolve is gonna do its thing. So once that's done, this up here in your media pool is your multicam sequence. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that down onto our timeline and boom, we have our multicam. Now this is our multicam sequence. So in order to see our multicam view, we wanna make sure that we don't have our inspector turned on and we are in a dual pane view. And then from here, we wanna go over to this icon on the left, hit the drop down, and we're gonna hit multicam. And you'll see angle one and angle two both pop up. Now, I know that this angle, this EOS R angle here, is not the audio that I wanna use. I wanna use angle two. So I'm gonna head scroll forward a little bit more just so I make sure that this is in the viewer. And I'm gonna go ahead down here onto the audio track and I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna switch multicam clip angle to angle two. So this is gonna make my audio permanently angle two. Now we wanna make sure that if we are only using one single audio track, that up here underneath of the multicam viewer, we have the video only cut selected. If you have this middle one selected, it's gonna cut both the audio and the video and switch back and forth, and that's not always what you want. So from here, the only thing we have to do to make our cuts is go ahead and play, and then we can click back and forth while the video is playing. And you'll see in real time that it's making those cuts. And if we zoom in on the timeline, you can also see those cuts. Now let's say you accidentally put the wrong angle at the wrong time in your sequence. All you have to do to change that is go ahead, right click on that clip and switch multi-cam clip angle. All right, so did, did I make it? Did, I, don't, I don't know what this time says because I haven't edited it yet, but hopefully I made it and hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. And if it was, go ahead down into those comments down below and let me know. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We're doing our best to try to get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you could help us do that, that would be much, much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion. Peace. I should really stop touching my camera lens. Goodness. Older, which is this one right here, and I'm... I think I'm so long like ain't nobody got time for that like i don't i don't need 20 minutes to tell me how to do something that i can do in five minutes or less like come on